Panda. Panda. Hello. Come on, let's go and have some fun today. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Oh, hey. Well, I'm wearing my overalls and hard hat. Can you guess what job I'm doing today? You're a builder. That's right. Hoopa, Toto, and I are going to build a new chicken shed for Moo. So excited. How about you, Toto? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Hoopa's here. Wow, look at the big truck. <laughs> oh. Hey, what's this? Moo. A drawing for Moo? <laughs> oh, look, there's Moo and her chickens. Wow, that's really good, Toto. Moo will definitely love this. Coming, Hoopa! Oh, Dr. Panda, I can't wait to start building Moo's new chicken shed. Building is my absolute favorite thing in the whole white world. <laughs> ah, Dr. Panda, there you are. Hi, Moo. Yep, all ready to go. Good. I don't have much time. I've got a million errands to run. Oh, before I forget, Toto drew you a picture. Oh, thank you, Toto. That's so sweet. OK, let's get started. This is the plan of the new shed. I've designed it myself. Yeah. Are you sure that's what you want? Yes, because it has everything my chickens want. A place to sit, a place to sleep, a place to lay an egg, a place to brood, a place to think, and a place to relax. Well, they certainly have enough places to sit still. <laughs> exactly! Anything for my little darlings! Oh, and you'll have a great time sitting still and watching Dr. Panda and Hooper work. Okay? Oh, I have to go. Remember, follow my plan. No worries. We'll take care of it. Let's build, Dr. Panda. Hold on. Moo told us to follow her plan on that table over there. Got it. So, first we pour the concrete to lay the foundation. Then we build the frame of the shed. Next we build a brick wall up to here and board the rest of it up with wood. Then we tile the roof and we're done. Hm, piece of cake. Uh, you know what? How about you do all those things and I supply you with the right stuff? Great idea, Dr. Panda. Ready, steady, build! Sing the concrete, mix in the concrete. Do -do 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 I guess we're done. Yeah, <laughs> done. Hey, Dr. Panda, where's the rope ladder for the outside slide? Rope ladder? Outside slide? <laughs> what outside slide? 
the one on the side of the shed, like on Moo's plan. I don't remember a slide on her plan. Right there, see? Oh no, that's not Moo's plan, that's Toto's drawing. Uh-oh. Okay, let's not panic. There's plenty of time to fix this before Moo returns. <gasps> No worries, Moo. We can fix it. No, you can't. This is not the shed I designed. My shed was supposed to have everything my chickens want. Oh, there was supposed to be a nest here where the chickens could relax and have fun. <coughs> and there was supposed to be more nests here where my chickens could have a great time sitting still and enjoying the view. <coughs> I don't think your chickens want to sit still or relax, Moo. Look at them having fun with the new shed. But it's not what I designed. Maybe not, but it's exactly what your chickens want. Hey, you're right. They do seem to love it. And if they love it, I love it. Who designed this beautiful shed? Well, we mixed up your plan with Toto's drawing, so I guess he did. Oh, thank you, Toto. <laughs> hey, maybe Toto can design a new house for me, too. Yeah, I could use some more balconies on my fifth floor. <laughs> 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 well, that was fun. Right, Toto? Mm hmm See what you've designed this time. A rocket? Well, that's an adventure for another day. See you next time. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Oh, hey there. Today, I'm a detective. I'm trying to solve a mystery. What mystery? The mystery of the missing Toto. <laughs> Let's see if I can find some clues. <gasps> Look, footprints. I must be on the right track. <laughs> Where could he be? <laughs> there you are. Are you ready to be a detective, Toto? Yeah! Excellent. We'll bring our tablet so we can take photos and make notes. All we need now is a mystery to solve. Moo! Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no! Moo? What's the trouble? Oh, Dr. Pander, something terrible has happened. My carrots have gone missing. Oh, please come quick. No worries, Moo. Toto and I will solve your mystery. I picked my carrots this morning and now look. Hmm. Why would carrots suddenly disappear? I don't know. Are you sure you haven't eaten them for breakfast? I had eggs for breakfast. Eggs? Hmm. <gasps> Maybe someone took them. I don't think so. Who would have taken them? Someone who likes carrots, that's who. Oh, I know. June. She loves carrots. But June wouldn't just take them without asking. You know, Moo, sometimes things turn out to be quite different than they seem at first. Anything could have happened. Maybe the baskets have holes. No holes. Has anything else gone missing from the farm? I don't know. I was on my way to collect some apples when I noticed... Oh! <gasps> my apples! Moo! No, not my apples, too! I was going to make my special apple pie! Are you sure there's no thief, Dr. Panda? Not likely. This thief would have to be really tall to reach all the way up there. Olette! She could reach up with her trunk. But Olette is no thief. She would never steal your apples. Nope, something else must have happened. So, Moo, when was the last time you saw the apples? Uh, yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Maybe the apples got blown off the tree by a storm. But there wasn't a storm. Okay. Um, oh, maybe you already collected the apples and just forgot? No worries, Moo. We'll solve this mystery together. <laughs> look, look! Oh, what's this? It's a footprint. Well, whose footprint is it? Don't know yet. 
but I'm sure things aren't as they seem. <gasps> oh, my. Whoever this thief is, they must still be on the farm. First the carrots, then the apples. <gasps> Where else do you keep food? <gasps> the kitchen! Oh, at least my cupcakes are still here. I made them specially. They're my favourite. So, everything's still here, then. Oh! <gasps> my cupcakes! No! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! All my food! Gone! Right from under our very noses! This thief has a big appetite to want so much food. Someone like... Hooper! That's ridiculous, Moo. Well, it must have been Bip, then. He's fast, and he's certainly a bit of a rascal. Bip does like to mess around, but he's no thief. Sometimes things aren't what they seem at first, remember? Ah, a feather! Another clue! Let's look at what we know. First, there were the empty carrot baskets, then the strange footprints by the orchard, and now a feather in the kitchen. Hmm. No worries, Moo. We'll solve this mystery together. <gasps> Listen in the background. <laughs> we'll solve this mystery together. <laughs> Have you checked the chickens today, Moo? <gasps> My chickens! Oh, no! Oh, no! Someone's taken all my chickens! Remember that things can be very different from what they seem. Maybe the chickens went out for a stroll. I do hope they're all right. Oh, I know! We'll set a trap to find the thief. Ooh. Here's what we'll do. We'll tie the chocolate bar to the camera with string. And we'll get a picture of whoever takes the chocolate. All we have to do is wait. Oh, <gasps> Someone's here. <gasps> They're too quick, Dr. Pander. We'll see about that. Oh, <gasps> Is that my chickens? But why would my chickens want to steal my food? I feed them very well. I don't know. But there must be a good reason. Hmm. Huh? Ah! Moo, look! Oh, my! <laughs> Wow. Oh, my sweet darlings! Thank you! Uh, Moo, I think it's time you enjoyed the special treat the chickens made you. So, there was no thief after all. You were right, Dr. Pander. Things can be very different from what they seem. Oh, thanks for helping me today. And you too, Toto. Toto! Hey! That's a very nice picture. You should be a photographer, Dr. Pander. <laughs> well, that's an adventure for another day. See you next time. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Pander. Bye-bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to babysit Moose chickens. Aww. <laughs> 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 tonight, and everything's all right. It's the perfect time to get lucky with you. Hey, Moo, that's a nice song. Oh, <laughs> hello, Dr. Panda. I didn't see you there. <laughs> I get a bit carried away sometimes. <laughs> Well, you sounded great. And something smells great, too. Oh, yes! I've made you some cupcakes. As a thank you for looking after my little darlings tonight. Mm -hmm. Thanks! Oh, 
I'm so excited to see my favourite band in concert. We're getting clucky tonight and everything is all right. It's the perfect time to get clucky with you. <laughs> Your chickens seem to like the music too. Oh, yes, but a concert is no place for chickens. And neither is the kitchen. Out Ooh. you go. These Aww. cupcakes are for Dr Panda. <laughs> oh, you know I don't mind sharing. That's very kind, but they can't have food before bed. It keeps them awake. If they eat any of those cupcakes now, you'll have awful trouble getting them to sleep. Once you've read them a bedtime story, they go into their chicken coop to get cosy for the night. Oh, and make sure all five of them are inside. No worries, Moo. I've got it. Be good for Dr. Pander now, won't you? <laughs> we'll be fine. Have a great time at the concert, Moo. Oh, I will. We're getting clucky tonight and everything is... Oh, remember, don't give him any food. It's time to get clucky with you. And that's how the brave little fairy saved the big giant. Ah, <sighs> right, chickens. Time for bed. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Good night, chickens. Sleep well. Ah, <sighs> chicken sitting is easy. They're so well behaved. Ooh, I think I'll have a cupcake. Toto, would you like a cupcake? <laughs> <laughs> I'll save one for him. Huh? <gasps> hey, chickens! <laughs> Stop that at once! Off you go. Back to bed now. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. What's going on? Ah! Now there are none! Oh, so that's how they got out. Hello? Hoopa, I need your help at Moose Farm. Sure thing, Dr. Panda. I'll be right there. <laughs> Great job. Thanks, Hoopa. No problem. Easy fix. Now all I have to do is get the chickens back inside. <laughs> Let me help you. It'll be easier with the two of us. Oh, great idea, Hoopa. Why don't you catch those two and I'll go after the one inside the house? Sure thing! Here we go. chickens back to bed and Moo will be home soon. Maybe we can tempt them in with food. They've already eaten. That's the whole problem. Mm. If only there was something else they liked. Oh, <gasps> That's it! Hoopa, you're a genius! I am? We're getting clucky tonight and everything is all right. It's the perfect time to get clucky with you. Join in, Hoopa, <laughs> tonight, and everything is all right. It's the perfect time to get clucky with you. That's it, Hoopa, tonight, and everything is all right. It's the perfect time to get clucky with you. Perfect! We did it, Hoopa! Yay! Great!
great sinking, Dr. Panda. And you. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. But time for me, too. Thanks for all your help, Hoopa. You're a great pal. Anytime. Bye. Phew. We're getting tricky tonight. And everything is all right. Hello, Dr. Panda. Oh, are my little darlings fast asleep? Oh, they're certainly fast, and hopefully they're asleep. That concert was amazing. I think I'm going to become a pop star. You should. Your singing is very good. Oh, but then who'd look after my farm? <gasps> Perhaps you could be a farmer for me, Dr. Pander, since you're so good at looking after my chickens. Uh, <laughs> maybe that's an adventure for another day. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Can you guess what job I'm doing today? You're a dentist. <laughs> That's right. Today, I'll be checking people's teeth. <laughs> you have to be gentle when treating someone. Let's prepare for our first patient. Hi, Moo. Ready for your checkup? Well, uh, no. I mean, yes. How is Dr. Panda? Is he fine? Is he sick? Not feeling well, is he? Oh, well, I guess I'll have to cancel my checkup. I'll come back some other time. Dr. Panda's feeling quite all right, Moo. He'll be ready to see you shortly. Oh, that's great. We don't usually allow chickens at the dentist. She doesn't like to come to the dentist either, but it calms her when I stroke her head. Uh, uh, take your seat. Dr. Panda will be with you shortly. Hi, Moo. Isn't the dentist fun? I've been brushing five times a day, front and back, top and bottom, and flossing after breakfast, lunch, and dinner, <laughs> and... Richie, time for your checkup. Yes! Oh! <laughs> Hi, Richie. Please take a seat. Whoa! Your chair's wobbly, Dr. Panda. I know, but it's nothing to worry about. Let's get started on your checkup. Open wide, please. Your teeth are sparkling clean, Richie. You've been brushing them well. So, do I get a happy smile badge? Please tell me I get a happy smile badge. Oh, you've earned it. I'll see you at your next checkup. Oh, yes! Hi, Richie. Whoa, cool badge. Thanks. Hooper, you're next. I hope I get a badge, too. You're right after Hooper, Moo. Oh, it's okay. Take as long as you like. No rush. <sighs> Ready for your checkup, Hooper. Let's just bring the chair down a little. <laughs> your chair has a bit of a wobble, Dr. Panda. Do you want me to fix it? Well, if you don't mind, that'd be great. It's a bit stuck. Let me push down harder on it. Oh, can you hear that? What is Dr. Panda doing to poor Hooper? <gasps> Thank you so much for fixing my chair, Hoopa. No problem. Open wide, please. Great. Ah, your teeth are in great shape, Hoopa. Thanks, Dr. Panda. Uh, so, do you have something for me? Here's your happy smile sticker, Hoopa. Yes! Checkups are the best. Hooper, you made it! Are you okay? I'm better than okay, Moo. I'm great! Come on in, Moo. Hi, Moo. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to bring one of your chickens along today. Are you sure it wouldn't be more comfortable in the waiting room? Oh, no! She's much more relaxed when she's close to me. Oh, well, that's fine. Come and sit in the chair, please. Oh, dear! She doesn't like going up and down. And she likes bright lights even less. Is that better? She certainly seems to be making herself at home. Oh, no! 
She doesn't like being at the dentist. No offence, Dr. Pander. It just makes her so nervous. Oh, I can feel her poor tail feathers trembling. Hmm. Are you sure it's not you who's really nervous, Moo? Me? Ha! No, of course not. No! Well, yes. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Pander. I just get so worried about going to the dentist. I feel so silly. It's okay, Moo. There's no need to feel silly. Why don't we put your chicken down, huh? Now, I'm just going to have a look at your teeth, that's all. Open wide, please. Chew! <laughs> Let Dr. Panda do his work. So, let's see. What? Oh! Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> Mo! That's enough! <gasps> I'm so sorry about my chicken! Ah, uh, no worries, Moo. I think your chicken's just a little bored. <laughs> Here's an idea. Why don't we give her a checkup first? Open wide, please. Let's take a look. Ah, yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Looking very good. Well done. So, that's it? All done? Yes. You see, there's nothing to worry about. Are you ready for your checkup now, Moo? Yeah, I think so. Yes. Let's do it. Uh, great. You see, having a checkup isn't so bad. Uh, 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 what was that? Moo says she loves coming to the dentist now. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Panda. Oh. <laughs> See you at your next checkup. Um, Dr. Panda, you do know that chickens don't even have teeth. <laughs> That's true, Olette. But the chicken's checkup helped soothe Moo's nerves, didn't it? You gave me that idea with your toy shark, Toto. <laughs> <laughs> Toto, doctor. Oh, you want to be an animal doctor now. <laughs> well, that's an adventure for another day. Hi, Dr. Panda. What, what are, you are you going to do today? Oh, hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to paint. Oh, are you going to paint walls? No, I'm going to paint pictures with June. Yay! The paintings are for the Spring Festival. Oh, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Betty! Toto, what are you up to? Oh, I see. And you made it out of an old newspaper. What a clever idea. Ooh, you know who would love this too? June. Let's bring it along to show her. <laughs> oh, what a mess. Ooh, Moa. June, what's going on? I'm clearing all this old stuff out of the shed. Yes, and making a great big mess. Dr. Panda and I are painting today. I need some space to store my paints in the shed afterwards. Hmm, but it looks like you're throwing perfectly good things away. What's wrong with this bucket? A bucket without a bottom isn't much use. Oh! You're not throwing away my tennis racket, are you? I oh, have such lovely memories of that. No strings, see? Hmm. Well, I'm sure it could be useful for something. I doubt it. Anyway, make sure you get everything tidied away by the end of the day. I love it when the garden's nice and tidy. I know. You've told me lots of times. No. Oh. Hi, June! Dr. Panda, you've arrived at the perfect time! I've just finished clearing all this old stuff out from the shed. Great! Are we painting in the shed, then? Oh, no! We're going to paint out 
outside where there's lots of lovely nature to look at. It can give us an idea of what to paint. Oh, uh, I heard it was going to rain today. There's not a cloud to be seen. No clouds, no rain. So now all we have to do is decide what to paint. Hmm. Oh, Toto, did you make that? <laughs> it's beautiful. And just what we need. We can paint birds and clouds for our festival decorations. Oh, that's a clever idea. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hold back, Dr. Panda. Let your paintbrush run free. Right, I'm painting a cloud. June, we better get these paintings under cover. It's going to rain. What? Oh no, our paintings. No worries, we can protect them with this. Or not. Quick, let's shelter in the shed. Colors are one big mess. What are we going to do now? I need to have the decorations ready for the spring festival. Why don't we do some more painting inside? <sighs> but there's nothing to look at inside. No nature at all, only brick walls and old stuff. Mm, at least these colors look pretty all mixed together. Yes, but no one will recognize them as birds. Hey, what if we turn our paintings into something new? Just like Toto did. You mean, take these paintings and make new bird decorations out of them? Exactly. What a clever idea. Well done, Toto. <laughs> and maybe we can use some of the stuff that you're throwing away. You know, old to new. Yes, that's a great idea. Let's get to it. tennis racket. <laughs> These decorations look awesome, June. Yes, thanks to you. And Toto's clever ideas. Let's load them in the truck then. Huh? Where's Toto? <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> that tennis ball makes you look like a clown, Toto. <laughs> hey, maybe we could do a circus act together. Yeah. We have to get to the festival now, but that'll be an adventure for another day. See you later! Hi, Dr. Panda. What, what are, you are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to be the referee for Panda City Sports Day. Uh, Dr. Panda, according to the schedule, we should have already started. 
Oh, you're right, Richie. We'll start with the hurdle race. The first one to jump all the hurdles and cross the finish line wins. <laughs> Ready, set, go! <laughs> Over the hurdles. Uh -huh. Oh, approximately three feet high by two feet wide. So, with a steady run. Keep going, Richie! And jump! Ow! Oh. <laughs> 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 Nailed it! <laughs> Yay! That was a fun race! <laughs> well done, Bip! <sighs> That's not fair! Bip cheated! Hmm, yeah, I, I don't see how Bip broke any rules. He didn't jump the hurdles one at a time! But he did still jump them, only it was all at once. Yeah, I thought it would be more fun that way. Dr. Panda, you're the referee. Tell him that's not the way it's supposed to be done. Maybe nobody's ever done it like Bit before, but he did still jump over all the hurdles and cross the finish line first. He won fair and square. <laughs> Next, the pole vault. The person who jumps the highest over the bar wins. I'm ready, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great vault, Maymay. Thank you. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. I've never felt so high, so free, so <laughs> below the bar. Nice try, Richie. Bip, you're up next. Not yet. Raise the bar higher, please. Uh are you sure? I like a challenge. Ta-da! Amazing! <gasps> but surely that's cheating. Nope. Everyone has their own special skills. But that's not fair. Oh, you're up next, Alette. Can you go higher than Bip? <sighs> oh, unlucky, Alette. Hey, good try, Alette. What's next, Dr. P? Darts! Whoever gets their dart closest to the middle from behind the starting line wins. Try. Don't tell me he used his special skills. <sighs> the last game is basketball. Bip and Mamie, you're a team. Oled and Richie, you're a team. The team that throws the ball through the hoop the most times before the clock buzzes wins. <laughs> Hey, Lad, your shoelace is untied. Ta da! <laughs> One point for Bip and Maymay. Right, that's it. What's the matter, Olette? Bip's not playing fairly. Well, oh, let me guess. He's just using his special skills? Yeah. But he's winning at everything. Maybe you could use your own special skills. What special skills? I don't know. Uh, what can you do that's special? Uh, oh! You want to give it another try? Yeah! <laughs>
Hey, the clock's about to buzz. Looks like it's a draw. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Yay! We did it, Richie! Won! We, we won! <laughs> oh, wow! I've never won anything in my life! What a joyous day! <laughs> <laughs> well done, Richie and Olette. Yeah, good game. The overall winner of Sports Day is... Bip! Congratulations, Bip. Yes, well played. <gasps> everyone, everyone, group photo. Yeah! Ah, that was fun, wasn't it, Toto? <gasps> You're right! It's our turn to play now. Bye, everyone. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Today, we're going to be gardeners for Olette. Hello, Dr. Panda. Hi, Toto. Thanks for helping me in my garden. No problem. We love gardening, don't we, Toto? <laughs> yeah. We need to mow the lawn and rake up the cut grass, trim the bushes, prune the tree, and dig holes from our new flowers. Lots to do. And we better get to work. Great. Uh, hey! Hey! Why are you making all that noise? Hi, Ziggy. We're helping Olette with some gardening. Well, can't you do that some other time? I'm trying to read here. You leave Dr. Panda alone, Ziggy. We'll be working in my garden all day. Actually, your garden could use some work as well, by the looks of it. Work? <laughs> nah. If you want your garden nice and tidy, you'll have to do it yourself. Ha! Huh. Sounds like too much work to me. It'll be worth it, though, you'll see. Especially when I plant my new flowers. That reminds me. I have to go to Moose to pick up my new flowers. <laughs> moo! Moo! Hey, why don't you go get them now? Toto can go with you. He loves the farm. Yay! Ah, he finally stopped. Wow, Olette wasn't kidding. Her lawn does look nice. <gasps> If I had a neatly trimmed lawn like that, I could turn it into a golf course and practice my swing. <laughs> Dr. Panda, I lost my keys in the tall grass, and now I can't get back into my house. Can you help me? <laughs> No worries. If we mow your lawn, I'm sure we'll find your keys. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, thanks, Dr. Panda. Yeah, I didn't find your keys, though. Oh, here they are. They were in my pocket all along. <laughs> Silly me. Right. <laughs> Silly you. <laughs> well, I should get back to work in Olette's garden. All you need to do now is rake the lawn. <laughs>
up here. Huh? What are you doing up there? Come down at once. I would if I could, but the ladder's over there. Ah, thank you, Olette. Hi, Olette, Dr. Panda. Did my ball uh, come this way? Yes, along with the rest of your garden. <laughs> May I come into your garden and take my shot, please? I have to play from where the ball lands. It's the rules. Of course you can. But I'm afraid your ball is buried under all this mess. Perhaps Dr. Panda would like some well-deserved lemonade while you try to find your ball. Huh? Uh. Uh. <laughs> Great job, Ziggy! Did you find your golf ball? No, I didn't. Where shall I plant my beautiful flowers? Hey, isn't this your ball, Ziggy? Huh? <gasps> Leave it there! Can't you play golf in your own garden? The shot must be played from where the ball lands. Let me take it, and I'll be gone. Let him take it, Olette. I've seen him play golf. Trust me, you might be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Looking good, Ziggy. Go for it. <laughs> hey! Hey! Oh! Yes! Did you see that? Great shot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for all your help, Dr. Panda. And now Ziggy has dug the perfect bed for my new flowers. No worries. Perhaps you could give Ziggy some golf lessons. <laughs> golf! <laughs> well, that's an adventure for another day. What, what are, are you going, going to, to do today? Oh, I know! You're a police officer! <laughs> Almost! Today, I'm a traffic director! Oh, that sounds very important. Yep, it is important. Traffic directors make sure cars, trucks, and people drive safely along the road. Yay! And here's something to help me. <whistles> oh, hi, Toto! Do you want to practice the special traffic signals with me? Okay, let's see. Ahem. Stop, listen, look, and go. <laughs> awesome. Oh, and now it's time for us to go. Hey, Toto, do you remember the special traffic signals? Stop. Stop. Listen, Listen! Look! Go! Go! Hey, watch this! Huh? Yay! Wow! Whoa! See you guys! Bye, Bib! Your turn, Hoopa! I'll see you on the way back! I'm just off to pick up some bricks! Great! See you later! Uh-oh! I tell you what's going on. My chickens are everywhere. That's what's going on. Moo! Uh, I think we have a bit of a problem here. Moo! My poor chickens! This is terrible, Dr. Panda. You'll have to help me round them up. I'm happy to help, Moo, but someone needs to look after the crossing. Oh, I can take care of that. Thanks, May, May, but you don't know the special traffic signals. You can teach me. How hard can it be? Hurry, Dr. Panda! We need to get my chickens back! Okay, here we go. You need to use stop, listen, look, and go. I've got it. Come on, Dr. Panda! My chickens won't catch themselves! Are you sure you'll be all right, Mei Mei? 
Toto will stay here with you to help. He knows the special traffic signals, too. Yep, don't worry. I'll be fine. Dr. Panda! <laughs> Don't forget those signals! Let's see, what was stop? I remember stop, listen, look, and go! Perfect! Now a bit faster! Stop, listen, look, and go! Stop, listen, look, and go! <gasps> it's almost like a dance! <gasps> hey, that's an idea! A she doing? A am I supposed to go or, or stop? Go! I don't know. What's going on here? That doesn't look like what Dr. Panda was doing. Go! No, wait, stop! Uh-oh. That's all of the moo. I need to get back to being a traffic director. Whoa, a traffic jam! And a great big mess! How will we ever fix this? Oh. I dropped my load. I'm sorry, Dr. Panda. I don't know how this happened. I do. Mei Mei made all the wrong moves. Instead of this, she did this. No, no, no. It was more like this. <laughs> That's nothing like it. It was like this. You mean like this? <laughs> uh, no, I think it was more like this. Oh, I see. So you turned directing traffic into a dance. Mm hmm. Sorry. I guess I got carried away. And you made Hooper spill all his bricks. It's going to take ages to sort this out. Not if we all help. And I know exactly how to speed things up. Mei Mei, you're going to have to teach us how to do your dance properly. <laughs> Ready, everyone? A one, two, three, four. Panda. No, thank you. That was fun, wasn't it, Toto? <laughs> yeah. I guess it's time for me to go too. <laughs> Bye, Mei Mei. Wow, Toto, that's an awesome move. You'd like to do more dancing? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's an adventure for another day. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Panda. What, what are you, you going, going to do today? Hi, everyone. Well, let's see. I've got a mop, a broom, a sponge, a bucket, and every kind of cloth I can think of. Can you guess what job I'm doing today? You're a, a cleaner. cleaner. That's right. <laughs> if there's a mess anywhere, I'll clean it up. <laughs> Great sliding, Toto. Hey, that looks like fun. Yeah. Oh, 
hello, Alette. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, Dr. Panda. I'm having Bip and May May over for dinner later. Oh, that's great. What can I do to help? Well, you know that whenever you have guests over, you have to make sure your house is nice and clean. Oh, sure. We can do that for you. But I mean really clean, Dr. Panda. Tip-top, shiny, sparkling, super clean. Absolutely. Hoopa is helping me today. We'll have your house super clean in no time. Okay, good. See you soon. <sighs> Phew. I think that's everything we need, Toto. Hey, Dr. Panda. <laughs> Whoa, whoops. Sorry, Hoopa. You don't need all that stuff, Dr. Panda. Not when I've got this. Not a boy. Wow, I've never seen a vacuum cleaner like that before. Thanks. I made it myself. I call it the hoopa -matic. Oh, very impressive. It cleans everything, and I mean everything. That sounds exactly what we need today. But I'll take my things, too, just in case. You never know when they might come in handy. Bip and May May are going to love this meal. And you don't have to worry about the cleaning, because that's our job. The hoopa -matic cleans everything, and I do mean everything. The windows have to be cleaned too. Can it clean windows? Yep. Curtains? Yep. Chairs? Yep. Table? Yep. Under the chairs? Yep. Under the table? Yep. Floor? Sofa? Under the sofa? Back of the sofa? Cushions? Carpet? Counter? Yep. Uh, we'll take care of everything. Let's get started, Hoopa. Oh, no. I'm out of cooking oil. Uh, that's okay, Alette. You go and buy what you need, and by the time you get back, your house will be done. <sighs> Great. And remember, my house needs to be tip-top, shiny, sparkling, super, super clean. clean. <laughs> no worries. It will be. Won't it, Hoopa? Yep. <laughs> Stop, Dr. Panda. My hoopa matic can do that, and faster. It does everything, and I do mean everything. Uh, okay. Blue, suck. Green, super strong suck. Yellow, uh, switch off. Red, uh, blow. All right, then. You clean the windows. I'll start in the kitchen. <laughs> Good sliding, Toto. Wait! My hoopa matic can do that, Dr. Panda. Oh, very impressive. Da -da -ba -ba. <laughs> you and me, Hoop. We'll get this place super clean. <gasps> oh, no! It sucked up all the flour! Which button switches it off? I know. Green! No! That's super strong! Oh, boy! Everything all right, Hoopa? <gasps> no! Which button switches it off? Uh, let me think. <laughs> ah, wait! Red is... No! Wait, I remember! Yellow! The yellow button switches it off! Yay! Good job, Dr. Panda! Uh-oh. Uh, no worries. I'm sure we can fix this. We'll just turn the hoop o -matic onto Super Strong Suck. <laughs> <gasps> yep. <laughs> Oh, no! The hoopa matic is broken! It looks like we'll have to use my old mop and bucket after all. Oh, this is going to take way too long. We promised Olette we'd be done by the time she comes back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Toto is right! Cleaning up this mess could actually be a lot of fun.
to that. Hey, look who I bumped into on the way home. The Hoopomatic vacuum cleaner really did the trick. Nope. We did all this using Dr. Panda's old cleaning stuff. Wow! Whoa! This place is super clean! It's true! I can see my face in the floor! <laughs> Lucy! Lucy! <laughs> you want to go horse riding, huh? <laughs> Lucy! Uh, well, that's an adventure for another day. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye.